I'm sure you have heard of the book The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clausen. Guess what? Even though it was first published back in 1926, the financial wisdom it contains is still as relevant today as it was almost a century ago. In fact, a lot of newer personal finance books basically repackage the same core lessons found in this classic. It's amazing how fundamental concepts do not change over time. In this book, we follow the story of Arkad who was once a poor scribe but goes on to become the richest man in Babylon. As his wealth and reputation grew, Arkad started sharing his principles with others as well. One of my favorite parts of the book is when Arkad's childhood friend asks for his advice. He says that he works hard but he has nothing to show for it. That's when Arkad shares his 7 cures for a lean purse which include gems like pay yourself first, control thy expenditures and make thy goal multiply. Does this sound familiar? That's because these are the same countless principles that have been rehashed in the modern books. What I love about this book is that the lessons are delivered in an engaging story driven manner. The book shows us that building wealth is possible for anyone who's disciplined and follows a few simple rules. In this video, we look at 9 principles or lessons from the book that you may find very useful. Let's begin. Starting with the first lesson, we have pay yourself first. The core principle of paying yourself first by saving at least 10% of your income is still very relevant today. With easy access to credit cards, loans and buy now pay later, it's easy to spend a lot more than you earn. But consistently setting aside a portion of your income before you start spending your money helps you build wealth over a long period of time. In the book, Arkad advises that a part of all you earn is yours to keep. It should not less than a tenth no matter how little you earn. The book highlights that hard work alone is not enough. You should make money but also try to save some of it and invest invest it. In the book, Arkad says that it was one of the most important things when it came to wealth building for him. For you to follow this example, start setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings or investment accounts each payday. Treat your savings as a mandatory expense before you start budgeting for anything else in your life. The second principle is to live below your means and avoid unnecessary debt. This highlights something we all know about, that is lifestyle inflation. The book also highlights that unless you keep it under control, your expenses will always rise when your income rises. While it's okay to improve your life as your income increases, it's not always required as such. It is especially harder to tackle in the modern world due to the constant advertising and social media pressures. We see something we like and we try to get everything that we can, which is not the best way to live your life. The book states, what each of us calls necessary expenses will always grow to equal our incomes unless we protest to the contrary and confuse not the necessary expenses with thy desires. The book shares the example of a wealthy man who lost everything because his income was always matching his expenses. There's plenty of examples in the modern world too. In the modern world, we should all carefully consider needs versus wants. Drive a reliable used car instead of a flashy new one. Choose a modest home well within your budget rather than stretching for the maximum mortgage that the bank will lend you. Also, you must always try to avoid revolving credit card balances. Again, if you follow the first principle and avoid any kind of bad debt, you'll always be living within your means. The third principle is make your money work for you. This highlights the importance of going beyond saving and to start investing your money. But not just investing, you should always try to invest wisely. The reason the second part is so important is because today we are bombarded with get-rich-quick schemes and hot stock tips on social media that often turn out to be disastrous. In the book, Arkad advises, put each coin to laboring that it may reproduce its kind. The book illustrates this by how Arkad made wise investments in loans to reliable merchants and tradesmen. When it comes to us, the most important thing is to make the distinction between investing and gambling. Ignore the noise and invest your savings in a diversified portfolio of low-cost index funds if possible. Let compound interest work its magic over the decades. As the book advises, seek investing knowledge from those who have successfully built wealth over time. Again, just stay patient, stop chasing hypes and start investing for the long run. The next one is to protect your principle, that is to avoid risky and speculative ventures. Arkad's mentor warned him that the first sound principle of investment is security for thy principle. In the age of crypto, meme stocks and overvalued companies, this advice is more important than ever. The book cautions, be not misled by thy own romantic desires to make wealth rapidly. This is talking about get-rich-quick schemes that are very popular today. The book tells us about a time when Arkad gave money to a brickmaker to buy gems which he knew nothing about. He ended up losing all his money. This was his first venture and it ended up failing and him losing all his principal. In today's world also, if an investment seems too good to be true, it probably is. Try to stay away from all get-rich-quick schemes that are peddled a lot by social media influencers these days. Don't gamble your savings
things on speculative assets that you don't fully understand, heed the book's advice to counsel with wise men and be guided by their experience. Even Warren Buffett says that the first rule of investing is to never lose money and the second rule of investing is to go back to the first rule. The fifth principle is to invest in yourself, that is to continually educate yourself and develop skills. The more wisdom we know, the more we may earn. Especially in today's rapidly changing economy, it's always very important to keep learning. As AI and other technologies take over, you should try to stay ahead of the curve by constantly learning. The only way to increase your earning potential is to stay ahead of the curve by putting in the work. The book notes that man who seeks to learn more of his craft shall be richly rewarded. This is illustrated by Arkad's own story of honing his scribe skills to earn more in the first place. When it comes to today's world, read more books, take online courses and find mentors to improve your skills and stay relevant in your field. You should also be skeptical of people on YouTube and TikTok peddling bad financial advice or selling overpriced courses. Try to seek out reputable and unbiased sources of knowledge and try to experiment to make sure you're learning the right thing. You should remember that growing your wealth is not a thing that you do in a day or a week. It's something that you constantly do throughout your life. The sixth principle is to ensure a future income, that is plan ahead for your retirement. In the book, it's emphasized that you should always plan for your future and for your retirement. You should always try to create different sources of income so that when you're old, you do not have to worry. This is even more important today because people are living longer and relying a lot on the money that they have earned in their previous years. The book states, provide an advance for the needs of thy growing age and the protection of thy family. In the book, it's seen through the lens of a man who consistently saved and invested his money. So when it comes to us, we should also do the same. Start saving for retirement as early as possible, taking advantage of any employer-sponsored plans. We should also consistently invest in individual retirement accounts. Consider diversifying your retirement portfolio with a mix of stocks, bonds and other investments to balance risk and return. Also, never fully rely on social security. Take care of your own destiny. The next principle is to seek wisdom and advice from experts. Surround yourself with knowledgeable mentors. I believe this is one of the most important things that we should know about today. There are plenty of people giving financial advice all over the place, so you must choose your mentors very carefully. Now, this can differ a lot when it comes to today's world because we can find mentors and people to learn from online as well. In the book, Arkad generally advises that you should always try to learn from experienced people and not from people selling you something. Counsel with wise men. Seek the advice of men whose daily work is handling money. This is actually shown very well in the book because a lot of people were coming to Arkad for his experience knowledge. In today's world, we should build relationship with trusted financial advisors, accountants and attorneys who can provide personalized guidance based on our unique situation and goals. When it comes to money, one of the most important thing is to learn how to make more money and this is where you should reach out to professionals in your network and try to figure out where your career can go. Try to learn from seasoned experts in your industry. Again, try to find people who are reputable and not just find people on TikTok or YouTube. The next lesson is to safeguard your wealth, that is to protect your assets with insurance and legal structures. The book uses the metaphor of building walls around your wealth and wants. Guard thy treasures from loss. Failing to protect your wealth through diversification and insurance can lead to financial ruin. We have seen this happen quite a few times. If you just look back at the great financial crisis, a lot of people lost all their wealth. So what else can we do? Firstly, start by obtaining adequate insurance coverage to protect against catastrophic losses. Diversify your investments to mitigate risks. Use caution with joint accounts or lending money to family and friends. Keep beneficiary designations up to date. As soon as your wealth reaches a certain point, also have a will and estate plan in place. You should always be taking proactive steps to make sure that your wealth is not taken away from you or your family. The last principle is to cultivate a healthy money mindset, that is to understand the role of both luck and effort. The book continually states that having the right attitude and habits around money is the key. Arkad says good luck can be enticed by accepting opportunity. Where the determination is, the way can be found. We see different characters in the book who attribute their success not to chance but to determination and hard work. So what can we do? Practice gratitude for the resources and opportunities you have while taking responsibility for your own financial decisions and outcomes. Basically, you need to stop blaming others and take charge of your own finances. You should also reject limiting beliefs like I'm just not good with money and instead focus on small consistent actions that you can take to improve your situation. You should also try to celebrate your progress along the way. Finally, you should surround yourself with positive and financially savvy influences. You need to believe in your own ability to continuously learn and grow. Again, always keep reminding yourself that cultivating the right mindset and having a long-term perspective is the only way to build wealth. What I really like about this book is that it's very simple and easy to read. It's a few pages full of golden nuggets that can serve you for the rest of your life. This book delivers a lot of knowledge through relatable storytelling that you can understand and follow quickly. So even if you have watched this video and are still looking for a quick and enjoyable read, pick up a copy today.
today. Whether you are just starting out your financial journey or looking to reinforce some of these principles, this book can be very helpful. I'll see you next week in a new video. Till then, keep learning and stay on top of your finances. Until next time.